Hey, as a walleye angler, I'm always looking for advantages. And one of the big places I can get a huge advantage is if I've got better boat control. And that's why I'm really excited to show you this new system. It's called the Pinpoint GPS Gateway System. What this system does is connect up my Motor Guide XI5 with my Lowrance HDS Gen 2 unit. Now, after you hook this up, you're still gonna be able to use your key fob for your XI5 or your foot pedal. But the nice thing is, is you can also get on that Gen 2 unit and control this motor from anywhere in the boat. There's a lot of the same functions on the Gen 2 unit, but there's also a lot of exciting new functions that again are gonna help you with that boat control. So Chase Parsons and I are gonna go out on the water. We'll show you how to hook up this system, how to configure it a little, but most importantly, show you how to get better boat control and maybe catch you some more fish. The nice thing about this gateway system is it's relatively easy to set up. You're gonna get a kind of a smart cord that you're gonna to connect to your XI5 and then into your NMEA network. Once it's on that network, then any Lowrance unit that's on that network will be able to access your trolling motor. So once you've got that all hooked up, and again, it's really simple, let's look at how you can actually access the functions of this gateway system on your HDS unit. You can hit your power button and it shows you a few of them, anchor here, autopilot, just kind of a quick deal to get to them. But the more common ways to actually configure a little bit of a screen here, so let's, uh, let's configure this one here. Let's drag down our sonar, we'll drag down a chart, we'll drag down autopilot, we'll save that, and then we can select that, and now you'll see that you have your sonar, your GPS, but here's the new stuff right here. Here's all of the controls. So Chase should be here shortly, we'll hop out on the water, and we'll show you how this bad boy really works. So the first function I want to show you is anchor. Now this is very similar to what you have on your key fob already, but you can actually just hit anchor here and say, I want to anchor here. So if we're right next to this little piece of structure, it sets up an active anchor point, anchor right here, the trolling motor will stop you and put you right in that spot. The added function that you get with the gateway, so if I go back here and I hit anchor again, I can actually tell it to anchor at an existing waypoint in my unit. So here's waypoint. I can go over here to waypoint 10 because maybe I know that's right on that perfect spot of that structure to make just the right cast. Move the active anchor point and it will immediately start moving towards that number 10 waypoint. Now the final thing that you get new here, again I'm going to go back one, you can actually say, oh boy, I, what I really like to do is be right there. Not even set up a waypoint, hit anchor, go to cursor. So not only can you anchor here, but now you can actually anchor on a waypoint and on a cursor, something that can change how you fish shallow structure. So the next feature that we wanna talk about in Gateway is heading lock. And heading lock is something that we use very often, especially in trolling applications. Now in the menu screen here, it's as simple as hitting heading lock. And what heading lock actually is, is that motor will set a series of waypoints in a straight line in the direction that it's pointed and actually take your boat along that line. So really you can do all the fishing without worrying about what direction you're going in. Now the cool thing on the touch pad here is you can actually adjust that line. So if you want that series of waypoints to move a little bit to the left, it's as simple as hitting left and that'll set a whole new line of waypoints and follow you along that. So left or right, you can do that. But one of the really cool things with this gateway is you can actually really take control of the speeds within the heading lock. And what I mean by that is you can actually see here that it says at one mile an hour. So when we set that heading lock, it actually put it in cruise control at one mile an hour. And it's very, very simple. So if you wanna change that speed, let's say for instance, you're gonna troll some crankbaits and you wanna go two miles an hour, you can actually hit that set speed, put in 2.0, okay, and it'll actually automatically ramp that motor up and keep you at two miles an hour. So the gateway gives you not only perfect directional control, but speed control all in one. So this last function I'm gonna go over is one that really shows the integration of the XI-5 to the HDS unit through that gateway. And that is I'm gonna to go to a waypoint. So first of all, I'm gonna to switch to more of a standard screen. This one just simply has a chart and sonar on it. I'm gonna choose an existing waypoint here, and I'm gonna tell the unit to go to it. 
You'll get a message back that says, do you want to engage autopilot? Yep. And now it will take off towards that waypoint and track right straight at it. So that's a feature that you didn't have before with the key fob, but that comes new with the gateway. So those are just a few of the functions that are in the Pinpoint GPS gateway system. You know, it's the system that connects up that MotorGuide XI5 with your HDS Lowrance units. And that's just really the tip of the iceberg. There's things like turn patterns, uh, navigating to routes, navigating to trails, and a bunch more functions coming down the line. So this is a system that's gonna make fishing easier for you. And I tell you what, I think it's the future of boat control.